Hi, I'm Zi Jenny. Today I want to talk about verbal waiters in the hospitality industry. Before my presentation, I want to show you a picture. See, there are four robots in the picture. They are taking the menu, beverages, and the food here. They are named Amy Plus, Beauty, Lolita, and Alice. Actually, they are a waiter in a Rotorio restaurant. So actually, there are lots of countries like the China, Japan, India. They are also using robot waiter to service consumer. So, what is the robot waiter? What can they do? And then what the reason of some company want to choose the, the, them to service? So I will discuss in this presentation. In fact, Robo Waiter is an innovation robot which can ask any subsectors in the hospitality industry. It can provide a consultative and informative explanation to our customer. Moreover, this kind of a robot is not easy to hit anybody or anything. So it's really good to protect our customer and hotel's property. And it's not easy to get lost. So it can guide our customer to find anywhere. In Hangzhou, China, Alibaba Group has got their first future hotel, Fuzo Hotel. In this hotel, customers see few human stuff inside to do housekeeping. And the hotel operation relies on smart interactive technology and the one meter height robot to service customer. Wang Chun, the CEO of Alibaba Fuzo's hotel, said the hotel efficient is 1.5 times than other traditional hotel management system. In addition, robot can find anywhere in the hotel and they can follow the customer ordering and providing room service. Furthermore, in Odisha, a smart restaurant uses robot waiter to replace waiter service food. They can easily to send the environment, smoke, heat, and recognize people. They can work for up to eight hours and just be charged fully half an hour. The above examples clearly show that. Robo help to improve industry efficiency and is more quickly and convenient than before. And the robot is the good way to reduce the staffing cost. However, Japan Hannes Hotel fired half robo because their customer complains that the robot annoys and is always break down. In the meanwhile, the receptions robot cannot answer simple question. It cannot really good to help their guests. Even though the robot which only works for the lo carry luggage, they cannot always perfect to do their job. Sometimes the robot cannot working, the human staff have to over time to repair it. Now we know the con and the pawns of the robot waiter in the hospitality industry. Actually, because of the price, this technology is not really common in the industry. Normally, a service robot is sold about 7000 to 25000 Sometimes the price is over than this range because it depends on the buyer rent and a part of a special thing. And they also need to add extra training and the repair ring fee. However, I believe the robot waiter will be used in more and more restaurants and hotels in the future.